Hey everybody, this is Dave from AskUncleDave.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install tvOS 10 Beta 5 onto your Apple TV without losing any of your side-loaded apps or your, um, you know, illegal apps or whatever, like Popcorn Time, things like that, that you see, may have seen in my previous videos. So basically we're going to update and not restore. But unfortunately for Mac, for Windows users, you can only restore uh, to the factory uh, 10 iOS, uh, tvOS 10 uh, beta 5 uh, there is no uh, update feature because the Mac uh, App Store has a Apple configure and that is found in the Apple Mac App Store uh, here it is right here this is the app that we use to update and restore uh, you when you hook up your Apple TV with the USB-C to USB 3.0 or USB-C to USB-C you're gonna need one of these you're gonna need your Apple TV and you're going to need this configuration um, software here uh, iTunes shows up as restore so for Windows user uh, I'm gonna give you a link where you can get the ISPW uh, and you can hold your shift key uh, and hit restore at the same time and restore it to that ISPW. Uh, unfortunately, you lose all your configuration and everything like that, but you have tvOS 10 beta 5 on your Apple TV for Windows users, okay? Uh, but for Mac users, we're going to open up the Apple uh, Configurator 2. That's the app that you see down here open. Uh, let's minimize this. You know that you need the cables uh, and to connect one to your Apple TV and one to your computer. And when you connect it, uh, you're going to see this Apple TV show up, the one that you have connected. And you're going to see all the information about it. And here in Profiles, you're going to need the pro uh, Configuration Profile. Now, this profile is for, like, developers. Uh, they have their configuration file because they have an account with Apple. Uh, but we're going to download some developer from France. Uh, he's offering it on his website. So on the website... Uh, it's this one here. It's called Zone ACTU in French. And if you open it with Chrome, you can change the from French to English with the uh, translator app that's built into Chrome. And you're going to see here in English uh, that you can have uh, I, um, tvOS and as well as watchOS and iOS 10. Uh, you can get the latest Xcode. Uh, you can get the Apple TV ISPW. Uh, IPSW, yeah, and the iPod Touch 6 generation, the iPhone, you can even get one for the iPad. Now, here is the configuration file. Now, if this is for iOS and this is for tvOS and that's for watch OS, okay? So basically, all you have to do is we're going to do it for tvOS beta uh, 5. You're going to hit that and you're going to click this download button here. Don't click anything else. Uh, just click this download button it all looks the same no matter what you're downloading so here's the configuration file now if we open up in finder you're going to see I have it already downloaded but then I downloaded it again so here it is the configuration file so that's gonna allow Apple to give you permission to do the tvOS 10 so we hit profiles we're gonna hit the add button and we're gonna hit profile and you're gonna find it in your downloads folder and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna add it and these are the previous ones that I had for uh, 9.3 and 9.0 and all that. But here's the one for 10. Um, I wish we had a list for you. You could see it here. It says iOS Beta 10. Uh, and there it is right there. So now to install it, um, we're going to uh, have it already installed. When it gets shows up in here in Profiles, it's already installed. So now if you go to your Apple TV uh, and you go to Software Updates, when you hit update software, instead of getting something like this where it says Apple TV update uh, is up to date, you're going to see now uh, that it says install. Um, let me show you how it's up uploaded onto here. Now, if you go to general, all right, and if you go into privacy and you go into send to Apple right here, don't click into it. Now, I want you to hit the pause play button on your remote. So you need your Siri remote as well. So we hit the pause play button, and you're going to see here iOS beta software, you know, for uh, iOS 10. We'll click that, and you see that it's certified, uh, and you're, it allows you to do it. So now, when you go to software update on your Apple TV, you're going to have uh, the ability to do the 
the uh, iOS uh, tvOS uh, beta tvOS 10 tvOS 10 beta 5 on your Apple TV so I already have it installed you basically just go through all the prompts and uh, there's a lot of new features I'm not going to go too much into it uh, but if you say for instance hit general and you hit appearance you can now go into dark mode and you can just see that it's going to be a lot of great stuff you can have that one sign in um, you can do automatic uh, downloads um, it's just tons of new features uh, Siri has a better search uh, like you could search YouTube videos and things like that uh, and I just think that it's great now the other great thing is like I said you are updating and you're not restoring so if you're updating and you could see that I still have all of my uh, side loaded apps like popcorn time and uh, live box and you know the simpsonize me you know I got all that stuff this is the iPod store uh, hacks and then you know I also have the um, Cody on here uh, where's Cody Cody was I think I moved it um, it's in here somewhere I have Cody in here somewhere uh, Cody right here down here Cody you know these are still side loaded and they're still on there and you get the all the other advantages of having uh, you know t uh, tvOS 10 so for Windows users uh, you're gonna open up iTunes pretty much you're gonna have that downloaded ISPW you're gonna hit the shift and the restore button at the same time as you click on restore and it's gonna stay restore you're gonna click this and then it's gonna ask you where do you have that ISP uh, the IPSW uh, and it's probably going to be in your downloads folder and then you just click on it and it will restore your Apple TV to factory but you'll have uh, uh, tvOS 10 so anyway if you have any questions uh, you know leave them in the comments I'll be happy to answer them as once I figure out how to who how to update Windows uh, using a Windows computer then I'll I will definitely make a video about that but right now if you're a Mac user and you have all those steps, you're going to have an updated version of your tvOS. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.